What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Y Sport underscore 6.2. I'll be getting this, con this question too many times, man. Do I like the Corvette better than my Scat Pack? Now, first off, if y'all really knew who I was, the Corvette has initially been the car that I like the most over the Charger. And that question is yes, because me personally, the Scat was too big for me. I don't have kids, and I just felt I just felt out of place with the Scat Pack. It was too big. Every time I took a turn in it, I would slide like left to right. The Corvette holds me in place uh you know the corvette in my opinion feels faster than the um well it is faster than the scat pack it is faster for sure due to its weight but it just feels more superior than the scat pack right <laughs> because i got this car for 40 out the door taxi titles and fees um i also this car brand new was seventy three thousand dollars Hence my scat brand new was like what 40. So Vets hold they value pretty well. So you know, people you know, people gonna be negative. Oh, you downgraded from a 2020 to a 2013. You gotta understand, a Corvette would forever be superior to a charger. I don't care what kind of charger it is. Hellcat, yeah, but we're not talking about the Hellcat, you know, because now that's on a zero one level. That's not on a grand sport level. We talking about naturally aspirated. So it it feels stiffer, it turns better, it accelerates faster, even though it got a um, less advanced transmission. Got a six-speed automatic. I want it manual, but it got a six-speed automatic. But I I use the paddle shifters for faster, you know, times. But overall, bro, it feels faster. Got a higher top speed than the Scats. Scats is, Google say 175. Some people touch 180. The Vets, 190. So, I mean, it's not... Sit significantly much faster but it's lighter so if you use the racer too and you use the race to get scat driver it'll be a good race you know but the vet the vet a pull on it because it's better it, it got better aerodynamics than the um than the scat pack so we, from what y'all know the 392 did not have no vents on the side no vents was on the side of the scat no vents were right here no vents was right here it was just straight body right you know, now you had the grill in the front and you had them in the back. So you had with the scat, you had the grill here in the front for cooling for the radiator. But you didn't have nothing, nothing like this on the side. Then you had the ones in the back, back here, like on the side. But to, to but for both, I enjoy both cars, but the vet is what I initially wanted from the beginning. I wanted a zero on one. But well, understanding why I stand in life, I can't get there right now. I got the Grand Sport. It's like the best. This is like the best of both worlds. You get you get the LS3, but then again, you get the Zero Six appearance. You get some of the track things that the Zero Six got, such as the um the wider tires, three twenty fives in the back, two eighty fives in the front. Um, wider fielding flare for better traction and grip. Um, you get this you get this mesh type grill in the front, just like the C Six Zero Six did. This is functional too. You got a hole in this one, no hole in that one. Hole here, hole here, hole here, hole here. And it goes down all the way to the back to the motor to keep it clean. I mean, um, cool. But yeah, I like the vet much better than my than my uh, Grand Sport. I mean, than my Scat Pack. Scat Pack was fast for what it was, but it just too big. It was too big to keep up with a lot of these smaller cars. I eat Mustang 5.0. Camaro SS. Now this here, this here, you know, with these new transmissions these cars have, 5.0 SS got the 10-speed. You know, they'll probably, you know, obviously get me from lower tops, uh, miles per hour. Top end, I would kill a 5.0. I would kill a Mustang. Ain't no 5.0, ain't no SS. Um, or Scat Pack touching these, touching this miles per hour stock. So like I said, they all got a better transmission than the vet. But we have to keep on going, which nobody really raced to that top end. The vet is gonna always win in top speed. Now if down low, 40 to 120, 150, whatever, they'll hang, they'll be there until they come to their max out. But that's when that's why people mod their cars, unlock their PCM to get a higher top end. But like I said, I'm taking a step at a time with this. I'm enjoying in the car. You know, still, you know, managing my money, still building my credit. 
but I'm so thankful to be able to have credit to be able to do what I do because everybody can't do what I do. That's why I'm so appreciative. Like I said, I couldn't get the zero one because hell, I don't make that much. The bank wasn't gonna approve me for this vet. They didn't see that I can obviously pay for it, right? My credit history, my debt to income ratio. I don't even make videos for y'all on that type of stuff. But I like the vet much better than the scat pack. The scat pack, you know, I had a four door car. Got this after and I just felt it wasn't a need for four doors. I really, like, I don't have no babies yet. You know, I just got the vet. I'm about to be 23 years old. I financed it for five years. So, I mean, hell, if I decide to keep it, I keep it. If not, hey, life goes on. But I plan on keeping this vet because it's nothing else that I want. If I don't get the, after this, it got to be the zero one. So, I'm not training. I'm not down it. No, no need to downgrade when I got that right there. No need to. That, that car, I need to get an AC compressor for that. But there's no need to downgrade again. The reason why I downgraded the first time, you know, I, I would just, I just wouldn't really into the car scene, you know. And I was like, hell, I could be saving, but life too short, bro. So if it's something you really want, don't let nobody stop you from doing it. Go get it while you can, because tomorrow is not promised. This car sits so low to the ground. Dude, y'all, I, I, I am five, five, bro. My hand is up. Look at how high it is. This car is, is low. This car sits low. So if you have, you know, you got a family and kids, obviously the charger going to be yours. A lot of y'all just like Mopar better than General Motors. And I like them all at the end of the day. But I'm so blessed. I'm so thankful to be able to have this car. It's, it, it hits different when you really look at and you, or when you on YouTube looking at something you really want. Then you go to the dealership, you know, or go to your credit union and your bank, get pre-approved. I even been disapproved plenty of times, man, for these cars. I, I never got approved the first time on my cars, bro. Like, it, it, sometimes you got to walk away and come back with a plan, you know, and make sure you save some money. Because, obviously, right now, the vet is out of warranty. It's a 2013. So, obviously, the warranty is probably not 18. So, I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of deciding if I, if I want to go the mine route. Or just put another warranty in. But then again, YouTube, nobody gonna watch the stock grant support. But then again, they got a lot of other YouTubers with modified LS3s. But with me, you know, I'm just trying to bring this message, right? But out of the, the two, I prefer I prefer the VIT over the over the scat pack. Cause and faster wise, you the racer too. The scat pack, you know, is big, got more power, more torque, but it also weighs a thousand pounds more. So you gotta take that into consideration. The vet got longer gears, but then again, it it, it it moves. It moves. It got it got more gears, but it moves. So and the vet, the vet hit 60 around four, four around, around the same. But like I said, it pulls, man, it pulls hard. And that's one thing General Motors is good for making track race cars, man, sports cars, Camaro, you know. So, you know, the Camaro is, is real good too, especially new ones. But that's why, you know, I like, I like, I like, I like my vet way better. So I get a vet out the two, I get a vet to 10, I get a scat pack of seven. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody really getting vets, you know? So I feel, I feel better. I feel like I'm not part of the, part of the, part of the crowd. You know, I feel, I won't say unique cause they got people vets, but I feel I feel like an outlier, and that's what I want to be. I don't want to be like the majority of everybody else, right? Yeah, they got other people with grand sports, but you don't see them out. You'll see, you'll see, you'll see five charges before you see five grand sports. <laughs> so thank y'all for watching. Comment what y'all think, and I'll catch y'all later. If you never drove a, a grand sport, you can't speak on it. You can't say nothing about it, right? I had a scat. So if you a scat on the sand, what you'll do to this car? You know what I'm saying? You never drove. You never drove the two to make the claim that I made. I drove both of the cars. I raced in. I ra I, I raced in the scat. I did D races, roll races. I I I know how the scat is. You never even had neither one of the cars. You can't really say. You can't just look at Google and look at stats and be like, oh, this, nah, it's a whole different ball game when you when you in the car. So thank y'all, and I catch y'all later.